Here we go, a walk around a Sloan garden. First barrel, potatoes. Beautiful rose bushes. This is a orange barrel, I believe, with oranges getting ready to, the orange blossoms are amazing right now. Here we've got some beautiful roses that are blooming against the wall. This is another, this is a tangerine tree. Um, we actually have a couple of tangerines still left on them from the season. More roses. This is our lemon barrel. We actually have a couple of lemons left on that too. Here we start with the blackberries. As you can see, they are flowering, getting ready to start doing fruit, hopefully very soon. There is our loquat tree. We actually have loquats on them already. I'm gonna walk you around here to the other side. And here we have a orange tree. It may produced amazing tasting oranges this year. We have another orange tree, one left orange on there. And then that back there is a grapefruit. There is our plum tree, which usually does very, very well, but this year it does not look good at all. On our back wall, our flowers. There's our birds of paradise that seem to be kind of coming to the end of the blooming season. Walk around and we've got an array of yellow flowers that will start to bloom on the wall right there. So it'll be all yellow. There's our beautiful purple rose. Let me walk you around the other side of the pool. Try and let you see all the beautiful flowers and roses we have. In that back section there, we actually have a blood orange tree off to the left and a lemon bush that's tucked away behind there. And we have another birds of paradise and roses. This is our first big nectarine tree. It has a fungus this year, but it does have some nectarines on it. So we'll see what happens. Here behind the swing, we have our apple tree. Hello, apple tree. I'll show you some apples that are already forming. There's one. They make, this tree produces great apples. This is our big orange tree. The smell of the orange blossoms is amazing. And now we start walking through our garden area. These are the sweet peas. Over here we have horseradish and we have daikon. Here's a beautiful lily, some roses, some purple irises mixed in. These are actually raspberries if they produce. We've got our kale covered so the birds don't get it. Over here we have carrots. This is our cherry tree, which it was cold enough this year to actually form some cherries, so we'll see. Starting with tomato plants. And there's strawberries. More beautiful flowers. There's a lemon tree in that barrel. These are more potatoes. Irises. Cilantro. We actually got a really good crop of cilantro this year. Our beets. This is another small nectarine tree. It also is infected. Both trees got infected this year, although there is some on there. There are some nectarines on there. More sweet peas. This big tree here is the Asian pear. It's actually just starting. Those don't come in right now. More tomatoes. Our beautiful camellia bush that has just finished blooming. And then we have our lime tree, which you sample some limes from that. We have more tomatoes here. Our peach tree. Our peach tree has got peaches on it. There is one right there that you can see. And 
down below, we have more blackberries. In the corner, we have a pear tree, which produces great pears, um, not until November. Over here, caged up, we have our blueberries. And we actually have a good amount of blueberries this time. We have to cage them so the birds don't eat them. Here is our apricot tree, full of apricots. So hopefully the weather will stay good enough to where they finish off nicely and don't get burned. Sometimes from the heat back here, things do not go well. More tomatoes. Here's some carrots. There's rosemary. I have my oregano. I have lots of herbs all around, especially in here. Even though right now I don't have any sage, that's where the sage was. Here's thyme. More rosemary back here. Behind our beautiful roses. I'm gonna walk you around the other side, take you to my favorite rose bush, which unfortunately is not blooming beautiful roses right this minute because it just finished, but they smell amazing. This rose bush is very, very old and it still produces the best roses I've ever smelt. <laughs> it, that is the cruise of our backyard. I will take some of the front yard now.